What's up guys, it's me, LEGO Custom Builds here today. I'm gonna be showing you another LEGO video. And this video is on a kind of like a, not a celebration, I guess, just a remembrance for veterans. This is like a, I'm just, um, this video is special for the veterans and stuff like that. I'm just for remembrance for the veterans. So I did this Le LEGO World War II, kind of like a mock, I guess. It's a Woolies Jeep and it got a few American soldiers and you can see their gear is right there. So I do have like some custom painted helmets and like another custom painted one. Anyway, so Veterans Day is just a remembrance for the veterans that fought and um, that fought in World War II, World War One, although World War One, all the veterans already died, but like the Vietnam War, the war, um, the war in Afghanistan, stuff like that. But anyway, just for veterans, a special day for veterans, and it's also Armistice Day. Actually, th this was yesterday, but I usually make videos on Saturday, so today's actually Saturday. So I hope you guys enjoyed your little holiday, I guess, from school if you guys have school. Even. But anyway, so. Armistice Day is actually a day where, in 19, 19, November 11, 1918, is when they signed um, a treaty with Germany that ended World War I. Um, so that's called the, like, the Armistice Treaty of Armistice. I don't know, but it, that's considered um, Armistice Day, I guess, uh, just to remember that treaty. Anyway, so um, for this special day, or that special day actually that just occurred yesterday. Um, I'll be showing you some of my, my custom Lego like, Willow Jeep and some of my custom Lego like, American soldiers. So, um, Armistice Day is World War One, and then Veterans Day, um, any veteran that's um, survived during war and fought during war. Anyway, so, let's just get on with the main fix first. So, you can see I got my own custom medic right here. Um, I do have a medic box for him, but I don't know where it is. Um, some of my Lego box, um, actually, he's custom, it's actually custom painted. Same with the helmet. And then I really, really that got this really cool um, uh, Citizen Brick guy, which um, cost $15 on sale. So he has a grease gun right there. And then he has some suspenders and stuff. He has some gator legs. And then he has a nice little sergeant helmet. Really cool. And then I also got this. Lego and normal World War II infantry. This is mainly World War II. Should have added a Vietnam, Vietnam War soldier. Or just a Vietnam War Marine. I guess American soldier. So this is just another double attention. But this is just another infantry soldier, I guess. Infantry guy. War soldier. Um, he just has a just a normal one grand. Um, also some custom painted booted legs, which are already kind of and then just an Emma Paul helmet, just this nice tactical vest, World War II tactical vest. And let's just put that in the back. And then I also got this really cool World War I American infantry soldier, or infantry. And you got this British World War II or World War I gun with the trench go, and then you got this like Russian soldier body from Indiana Jones. So actually, all these, all these bodies except. This citizen brick body are from Indiana Jones, and then uh, you can see there's some gear, some weapons, some tactical vests, some rifles, some tactical vests, and some helmets. Got a few more, and then so and then I got this machine gun. Next is I'll show you this really cool Lego Jeep, which is custom made. So let's just put that back. Camera. Anyway, so it has just a uh, moving up and down windscreen, I guess you could say. Um, has spaces for two main figs to sit down in. So let's put that one in. Let's take off his gun. And then you can just put in this mini fig like so. So there you go. And then you can actually fit two in there. Um, and as I told you, you can put that down really easily. I really like this custom made front part of the Jeep that I made, which is kind of like rounded. I want to make something of my own, so I decided to make this different technique. Then I also got, of course, the wheel place in there. Really don't like that gap in there, right there. Um, but yeah, it might be ours fell, but whatever. Um, anyway, so yeah. Then there's some hooks for like shovels and stuff like that. I've got one shovel there. I don't know what happened to my pickaxe and axe and stuff like that. Anyway, see, so you could put a machine gun. You can take that off if you want to, but I don't know. Most World War II Jeeps had machine guns, but some didn't with the hoods. And 
And then you see here I got this trailer attachment piece right there. The custom made, it goes up and down like that really easily. Just move it up and down. Anyway, so then I also got this really cool Minifig Cat gas can, which I'm really glad that Minifig Cat makes those. Then I got a spare, spare tire, which is really neatly made. It's really custom made by me. Um, really cool. So I'll sh if, um, show probably not. We'll show a tutorial on this, probably not, but maybe I will. So I got some more space for hooks and stuff like that. Um, so overall, I think this Jeep turned out pretty well, except for that gap in there, right there. That's what I was talking about. But um, it does fit more than two minifigs. I'll make it fit four in there without the machine gun. Maybe actually, possibly with the machine gun, but I don't know, maybe. Um, so yeah. So please just remember the veterans and stuff. If you guys have like a grandfather that was a veteran, so you should, I don't know, just give him a card or something. <laughs> Happy Veterans Day or whatever. Just um, honor those who survived and fought for our country. And so, yeah, so this video was just remembering the veterans and also our Mrs. Day. So. If you guys liked this video and if you guys really like this Jeep and stuff like that, if you guys liked all my soldiers and everything, please just give this video a thumbs up and please rate, comment, subscribe and thanks for watching.